Hi Carrie. Hello. Can you tell me something about the mural that's behind you? Uh, well this is the Suffragette Spirit. It's a piece that was commissioned by Amnesty. It's to let people know about human rights defenders, in particular women from uh, Scotland who are fighting for everyday, for everyday people's rights. And this is part of the new art festival, isn't it? What, what, what got you involved in this? Well, Martin invited me, <laughs> and I was really, really honoured to, to be invited because I think anyone who knows new art knows it sets a, sets a very high benchmark for street art festivals. It's not just about artists coming and putting up their brand or their logo. It really is about trying to encourage local people to get creative and to use the space to try and bring about positive changes. And the, so the mural that you've chosen to do, to, to, to do is, is all about Aberdeen people, isn't it? It's about it's a real well, it's sort part of... part of a campaign, though. Amnesty has a campaign called the Suffragette Spirit where they produced a map of women who they thought had kind of carried on that suffragette spirit, you know, that it was still alive and to let people know that there's all these amazing women all over England, you know, and all over Scotland and all over Wales and all over these places who are still carrying that spirit forward and fighting for human rights. And something about the unknown women as well, right? The people yes. that don't normally get recognised. Absolutely. I think, you know, obviously working class people rarely ever get a mention anywhere in history. And it's just like the everyday. I mean, the whole focus of this new art festival this year is the ordinary. It's celebrating the ordinary and celebrating that people in their daily lives can do something and be proactive and fight for other people's rights. And who are some of the people that you've chosen to, um, to feature in this, this piece of work? Well, some of them are from local Aberdeen women. Um, there's uh, Kerry Wright, who has been fighting. I mean, it sounds ludicrous, but she's literally giving out free sanitary towels and tampons because people don't realise that some women have to make a decision about whether they feed their kids or whether they're going to have sanitary products. I mean, I, it's, nobody really wants to talk about this stuff, but I think it's really important that this one person is there and she's leading this and doing something to help other people. And uh, something about your, your background, you, you're a craftivist. What does that mean? Well, um, I combined craft with activism, though I'm starting to redefine myself. I think I might be becoming a craft archivist now because, in a way, my activism is really to bring out the archive and make it visual and put it on the streets and I think that's really important because it's all there it's in our you know it's in the archives Aberdeen actually has some of the best archives in the you know in the whole of the UK and so it's amazing to be able to dip in there and to bring it to life and put it out there visually onto the streets and there's something about working with tile isn't there I mean it's such a long lasting Medium. Why is it that you, what is it about that base medium that you like? I, I mean, I just fell in love with it because I love to work with it, but I think it has a permanence. There's something about it. Paintings can fade, they can get painted over very quickly. The thing about tile is that you can't, you know, you have to physically destroy it, you have to smash it to remove it. It's there, it's going to hopefully last forever. And I think people have a kind of an innate response to it because it's the earth, you know, it's very basic. If you look at all civilizations, They've all been working with tile and ceramic and there's this whole wealth of it and I think it's amazing to be able to capitalise on that and to use it. Can we just take a closer look at the mural? Yes, of course. And, and, and see what we're, what we're looking at. So, so I mean, it's this, this sort of fantastic well, central image there. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, I've used the, really, the most classic image I could find of the suffragettes, using the suffragette colours, obviously, of green and white and purple that had huge significance and I've tried to make it as iconic as you can at the top half and use this imagery that I could find that represent, you know, showed the suffragettes uh, from Scotland. And then at the bottom, it's kind of going into modern day. So the idea is that it's uni unifying the past and the present and showing, you know, that we still have all these amazing women who have the spirit of the suffragettes. How did you find out all about this history? What did you do? Well, what was your, your process, if you like? I learned about the suffragettes mainly through the piece I did for the museum, for, for Liverpool, that piece. And Amnesty provided me actually with the names and I looked at their suffragette spirit, which is an interactive map that you can go online and you can put a place and see and identify as these amazing women. How do you actually do it? What, what's Because the, there's a number of different techniques that you apply, isn't there, in order to so screen printing as well, well as there, tradition? What I use is digital printing, so you send away prints, they're made digitally. Uh, by an amazing company called Heraldic Pottery because I try to work with British companies and, and keep things uh, from um, UK. And so um, so you send away the things for um, print and then you 
float it in water, you put it onto a tile and you refire it. So, and it uses, a, it's like a very thin layer of onglaze that you're reprinting onto a tile. So it's permanent, it's not going anywhere. Yeah, it lasts a long time. Yes, and then, but there are kind of layers on, on that. So over the top of that, I've used like these thistle prints and things. What do you think the people of Aberdeen are going to think about this? Well, what do you hope that people, when they just come in, they come across this work that will, will think and they will feel? I'm hoping they're going to find it inspiring. I hope it's going to um, remind them of all the amazing women that have come before in, uh, in, in Aberdeen and in Scotland. And I'm hoping that it's uh, a really positive image for them to come, especially because it's in this little kind of corner that they're just going to walk around the street and just... Bop. It's hidden, but, but yeah. it's a real and treat so when you come across it. You know, because you've looked into being all the suffragettes, there's so few visual imagery of it on our streets. We don't have the monuments, we don't have the statues that we should have. And it takes so long, you know, everything is very difficult to get through councils, which is why um, street art enables us, this festival enables us to just put things up very quickly and it, for it to be there. Carrie, thanks very much. Thank you.